it's Scott Robeson from Drive to Work. Thank you as always for subscribing and leaving this video a thumbs up. First topic we're going to be discussing today, uh, let's see, falling down the stairs as you saw in the title. Yeah, that's right. But you know what the sad part is? It was after Dale pushed me. Just kidding, guys. Don't, don't send him any hate mail. You're so abusive to him, I know, right? One of my girlfriends, lesbian, of course. One of the four, you know, I only have four lesbian friends. I have a quota I have to meet and I can't exceed it. It's... <laughs> We're at maximum capacity with lesbians now. Sorry, you're gonna have to step back in line. So she like posted on Facebook and was like, oh my God, I just fell up the stairs. And I responded like, who falls up a flight of stairs? I'm not really big into the superficial, superstitious. Let me correct that. I am definitely into the superficial, but not the superstition. I do believe in karma, that is for sure. And apparently I forgot about good old karma when I had left that message to her. Because last night, I'm walking down the stairs, and we have carpet on our stairs here at the house, and it's wooden stairs underneath. Well, I guess, what else would stairs be made out of? <laughs> Jello. Although, last night, if it was made out of Jello, it would have been much more pleasant to land on my face. So, I'm walking down, and I catch my heel on the edge of the step, and it slips. But I slipped, and then I just plummeted, like, <clears throat> and all of a sudden you hear, I could hear Dale fly up out of bed, like, skidding around the corner. He's like, are you okay? And I'm like, do I look okay? <laughs> I just, like, face planted down the stairs. I'll never be a teen model. My nose is going to be broken. <sighs> look at this. This is one of my battle wounds. I don't know if you can start to see this bump that's it's muscle, honey. No, it's actually not muscle in my arms. Um, it's like this bump, and I'm like, the back of my leg is all bruised up. Okay. Put some ice on it, and Dale took care of me. It was very, very sweet. But yeah, that was not the highlight of my week. On a brighter note, I now work from home. Much easier not to have to commute in horrible weather, and also driving one hour per way to work. It's not a fan of that. But I have to say it does get a little bit lonely here. So I've given in to the country ways, and I've, just, I've decided I'm going to learn how to crochet. Although, I, it looks much prettier to me just to be like this. Just leave it on the coffee table. Oh, do you crochet? Oh, yes. What have you made so far? Oh, you know, a bunch of things. You always give them away to the neighbors. The lesbian two doors down and the other old lady there that's two weeks away from death and stares at us with nasty looks during the summertime. I'm just that giving neighbor, so I don't know. Maybe I'll one of these days look at YouTube and figure out how to crochet because I really want to learn how to do it, especially since I live in the middle of nowhere. I literally do not leave my house from Sunday night when I get home from like wherever we're at to Friday night. That is unacceptable. I need to go tanning. Maybe go to the gym, but obviously stay away from the Stairmasters since um, Stairs and I are apparently not friends as of last night. I do have really good news. It's really exciting. Um, Monday will be the 4th of February. Anyone want to guess what that day is? If you think you know, leave in the drop down box below and I'll tell you after this video is up. Oh my god, I have the most hilarious story to tell you. So, a couple weeks back, you know, Dale went off with his friends and I'm like, I'm going to go hang out with the Russians in the city. So we went to John Hancock Tower, the... Um, whatever, the lounge on the 95th floor and had drinks. Let me tell you, the higher you are, the quicker the Long Island iced tea kicks you right in the face. <laughs> so, another thing, I probably shouldn't have a phone on me <laughs> looking at things to purchase when I'm that high in the air and also drinking alcohol because I bought tickets to Lady Gaga! And she's coming in about two weeks to Chicago, United Center. So I cannot wait. I'm taking one of the Russian boys with me. Andre Akhamou. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We were walking by one of the stores, and I was like, oh, I love North Face. Let's go into North Face. So we're sitting there, and I'm looking at all these different jackets, and this Asian lady walks up to me. Do you know where I'm going to go with this? I will preface this story by telling you any jokes that I make, including lesbians, are not derogatory towards that person. Sexual orientation is comedy, so if you don't like it, don't watch it. If you do, just laugh. And you, don't, you can laugh, too, if you don't like it. <laughs> So we're sitting there, and she goes, oh, excuse me, uh, you work here. I'm like, no, no, and I don't know what it is. Like, why does everybody think I work at the store? I mean, just because I walk into a place and I act like I own it does not mean I work there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I need to wear a sign that says, don't work here, don't ask me questions. Ask me how I can help you and put a big X through it. I don't know, something like that. So she goes, oh, my son, he looked like you. And I'm like, he's white? <laughs> really? He must be fabulous. <laughs> She's like, I, you know, I, I, I don't know if it fit him. I, you know, I need to, um, you know, see the sizes. And I'm like, oh, she's gonna make me try clothes on. So she's like, you try this on. And she's like poking at me, like, a, you know, like I'm in a petting zoo. Like, you try this on. And I'm like, okay. So everybody in the store is like looking at me. I'm like, okay. So I'm putting the thing on, and I'm just waiting for Ashton Kutcher to jump out and be like, I got punked. Like, <laughs> who 
you ask somebody else to try on clothes at a store? I've never had that happen. That's a first. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I think it looks good. Whatever, you know. And she's like, oh no, it, it's very tight. They might think he's gay. And I'm like, well, honey, you asked the wrong person to try this outfit on for your son then. And then she goes, no, you try this one too. And she's like poking at me like, somebody's gonna get slapped in just a minute. Like, I am not an animal. With this hanger lady, seriously, like somebody's playing a prank. This is a joke. So, I thought it was hilarious. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna let you go, but the answer to that um, question earlier, February 4th, 2013 is Dale and I's one year anniversary. Yay! Now we're gonna get a U-Haul and three dead cats and become lesbians, so. Anyways, it's been a wonderful year. I am happier than I've ever been in my life, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life. I promise I will not be MIA as much as I have been in the last couple months. Um, <laughs> it was in hiatus. You know, in the winter time, we go into hibernation. That's gay, especially the small ones. Make sure you leave comments in the drop-down box below. All right, guys, until next week, see ya.